in order to have capital, you have to forego consumption. This is the most important concept which Keynesian economics has managed to drum out of people's brains with a lot of propaganda. People don't think you need to sacrifice consumption in order to have capital because they think capital could just be provided by the central bank because the central bank prints money and now we can all borrow and then we can all invest. But they don't understand that that money cannot create capital goods. All capital goods are goods that can be consumed in one way or the other. So every taxi cab out there is someone's capital that could be used as a private car for just joy rides. And instead, you give up the joy ride so that you could put it into work with a cab driver who's out there driving it. Every single piece of capital is only possible because somebody for, uh, forewent consumption. Somebody decided, I'm not going to consume this amount of money, I'm not going to buy a stupid toy that I don't need, I'm not going to go on a stupid vacation that I don't need, I'm not going to spend money on things that I don't need, I'm going to invest this in a productive asset that is going to hopefully make more returns for me than the money that I'm going to put in.